Hi everyone, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palicka International, new artist and educator here. And today we are going to do a beautiful crystal placement. Uh, so I've got those beautiful glasses. You can have a wee preview of this design in here. So it looks absolutely fantastic. And I will show you how to do it at uh, step by step. We all kind of feel like a motivation is gone to do the nails. So I thought I'm going to show you something slightly different but still a little bit new related uh, with the home decor. Let me know down in the comments below how much you enjoyed this tutorial. Let's start! That's what we are going to create today. It looks absolutely amazing. Look at this blink and uh, I show you step by step how to how to do it. I love these crystals. Um, so um, I thought because the theme is going on everywhere now, uh, I'll show you how to do it. Uh, so one glass is already done and when they not done it's just a plain glass. So you can get any type of glass you want to use it for it. And then I might actually give you a picture of that as well. So what you would do is you would just screenshot it and then you could use it for your design. So I have printed the logo in a few different sizes depending what I'm going to use it for and for glasses I'm going to go for a small one uh, so basically what you do is you just cut out the logo and this is actually a really fun design to do it I always have been like liking playing with different home decors and, and things since I was a little girl I had crazy things on my walls and and lots of uh, handmade stuff and doing the design on your own would be pretty difficult so what i actually did i put the uh, cut out logo then i'm just going to check it if it's the same height so this one is lower because i want to have a matching set so just get over the same height yeah that's just about maybe one millimeter higher so you just place your um cut out piece of paper inside the glass and then just so it is secure I'm going to use a tiny bit of the sellotape as well so I've got a small part of the sellotape and I have been decorating with the crystals lots of things so say example one of them it was my old crappy cart I'm like driving a 2004 car a Mitsubishi in black and I thought it would be nice to decorate it with the crystals and so I did so I stick lots of uh, gems in my car. I also decorated um, the dressing table with the crystals. Uh, and that looks absolutely amazing. The dressing table with the crystals like around the mirror. So it's not a big uh, amount of the crystals. Uh, just a little one. But it looks fantastic. And now we are going to do the nice set. So once the once we allowed, I'm going to invite the friends to have a nice glass of wine in those channel glasses <laughs> okay so i'm just securing uh, the design and then it is good guys if you kind of put something on the side of the actually i might go upside down will be easier it's good if you put something just so it holds your glass in one place so you don't have to worry about it and then using the upvoted soak of base gel we are going to secure those crystals and i'm securing those crystals on my nails even if they're large they stay on really really great time i've got also some old brush and a gem picker if you don't have a gem picker you could do one with a tiny bit of the blue tack and that should be enough now let me check the size of the crystals i want to use and that is this one so the largest one i can keep it for a vase and i will do the vase as well like i want to have a nice flowers <laughs> Place those crystals on this right hand side because I'm right handed. And then we are going to apply the base gel. But when you're working with the base gel, so first of all, like you want to apply it at uh, only a little bit more to the middle. And only follow those black label. Okay, so more to the middle of your design. This is actually fun to do it like and it's so exciting to see it all the progress uh, going on they are two tricky places and i will let you know how to do it at nice 
you don't want to place too much base gel because if you put play, uh, too much base gel then they are going to be places which is going to be visible on the glass and you really don't want that. And we are applying two rows of the crystals. So I've got one row. And it's pretty quick. Once the crystals are turned into your side, it is not really as time consuming, consuming even. But the most important thing about it is you cannot do it too much at the one time. And then secondly, you want to place your base more into the middle just because the, gla the glass is so shiny surface that the base gel is going to move. Okay, and then you just keep going. You can also see that I'm placing the crystals kind of one on underneath of each other. And then once I do this part, I will show you how to do the end because the end has slightly different shape. And I think I wanted to show you guys this tutorial. First of all, you are asking me about some items which I've got on my fireplace or about other different things. And all this stuff is really expensive like so quite often I do it my own things. Um, and this is awesome, like that's we able to to do it our own stuff, which looks fantastic and it doesn't cost us as much really because the glasses was like I don't know sixty pence, <laughs> so really not a big expense for such a posh looking item. I want to see guys your recreations, your designer logo, and you can pick up anyone. Uh, you like, like, and then just hashtag Dorota Palicka on the Instagram or other social medias because I honestly, I need to, I'm dying to see your works as well, guys. Because uh, each of you will have your own idea and your own twist um, to those kind of uh, DIY items. Do it yourself. Okay, so I have placed all of them. Now I'm just going to touch them and move them into the right place so so they behave and they look nice perfect then another one and now here you can see it the C goes at the angle so we need to do it the same angle as well which means the crystal, one crystal needs to be more sticking out and the other one just a little bit less. You don't want them too much in a straight line. So this is one of the hardest places. No, I'm just really fussy with the application. So I'm just going to move those crystals a little bit and then cure them in a lamp. I think doing it with the nail glue would be much more difficult and it would give you uh, matte results uh, with your glass like and I don't recommend it. That's why I thought the base gel would be an absolutely best way to do it. Because it has those shiny surface okay i'm just checking if it's straight and actually it is nice and pretty already is it cameraman or is it not i think so it is okay cool i'm going to cure it so i've got the lamp in here and actually it is awesome because the glass fits in no bother inside the lamp. So just give it a cure. Turn the crystals into the right direction again. And I actually find them putting them onto the desk uh, is um, speeding up um, thing. Like it lets you pick up the crystals much faster, which is awesome.
So now we are going to do another round of the crystals. just pick them up and place them in if you like those kind of uh, stuff and you not feeling uh, motivated to do the nails um, I think it is nice to play with different stuff which where we use the new item like a base and a gems and <laughs> all the stuff we use on a client's nails um, I have done tutorial last year was it last year or even longer times fly so I, I can't remember but I will give you the week card of it as well uh, where we was doing the rings and the bracelet from the acrylic um, acrylics and the gels I think it's a fantastic way of doing something uh, when we're not allowed to do the clients because uh, I think like doing those glasses also as well it gives you the speed of picking up the crystals so it is a good practice and also as a bonus you are going to have a beautiful item I also suggest you kind of roll the glass as well to check like if you definitely add the following the shape because uh, the glass has its thickness so it's kind of uh, enlarged the uh, piece of paper underneath and it shows it slightly different so I kind of go like this to make sure I've got it in the right place but yeah let me know down in the comments below uh, also because obviously it is a slightly different tutorial uh, first of all if you have enjoyed it, watching this tutorial secondly would you like to see more of, of those kind of homemade stuff for your house because uh, I would be really happy to produce it this is something which I really enjoy doing and uh, I do a lot and uh, different things so let me know in the comments Okay, so that's another side done and then fit it inside the lamp if it wouldn't fit the lamp you can always take off the bottom and just hold the lamp on top of it again when you're giving a flash cure save your time and just twist the crystals uh, upside down and move on into the next step so this this part is going to be pretty difficult as well I mean not difficult but more tricky <laughs> so pick up a small amount of the base because we need to place the crystals and then we've got already some crystals here okay so just put small amount right in the middle And when you're fitting in the crystals, make sure they kind of go here. So I've got those two. And mine actually didn't go in here. This crystal didn't go. In the other one, I've got it much nicer work. Maybe because I didn't rush it as much. You can see the crystals looks much better in this one because it looks like a continuation. Why? <clears throat> sorry I'm losing the voice why here this crystal should be in a different place the joys of speed up work for a tutorials <laughs> but it's just like I don't want to waste any one time playing so precise with the design <laughs> actually I could maybe lie about it optically there we are and move this crystal a little bit okay 
couple more. Just move them into the right place. And then give it a flash cure. Check if it's good. Yes, it is. Flash cure. And there's, I'm going to do it on the speed up just to don't keep you uh, bored, guys. So a little bit speed up. <laughs> Yeah, that was a full concentration, so I could do it a bit quicker than the previous ones. And uh, then push them to the top. Another tip what I can guys give you as well is like keep the crystals pretty close to your hand. So the closer you've got them to your hand, the quicker you are going to be with the uh, application. Because it's a distance your hand needs, needs to do it. Uh, to reach the crystal and same here we've got another place so you can see it if I would leave it the way it is I wouldn't be able to place any more crystals in there and this is really uh, really bad also I have touched the glass with the base and if I don't clean it um, I smudge the base if I don't clean it then it is going to cure my glass this way and we really don't want it so these crystals here, I hope the camera can catch it. I wouldn't be able to put the gems in there. So you need to move them and reshape the uh, letter inside, which means I need to get a bit more room. So push them out a little bit, out, 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 out. And now I can put these crystals more close together. There we are. So I can squeeze two more gems in here. If the gap would be extremely small, then what you would do is you would separate the crystals a little bit um, so the, gap is, the gaps aren't as visible in between them but this way you can squeeze an extra crystal so that's another difficult place okay get them into the line this one needs to come in a bit more and that is perfect give it a cure and then the last part. And then after it is cured, just the final touches. Actually, it's a really big fun to creating those glasses. Okay. 
and just move them into the right place. I really need to test them and I promise like because this is actually going to be a fun I'm going to test them into the dishwasher because if this base is going to last in the dishwasher that's mean it is going to last uh, everywhere now you have to make sure this letter C goes round into the good shape like don't bring it too low just follow the shape I'm just going to finish it right to the end with the last touch of the brush But yeah, I need to know it, how strong it is. <laughs> Cameraman, what else we could decorate <laughs> with the designer logo in our house? <laughs> I'm sometimes, I'm obsessed with the crystals, like I am really. And each time when the friends see something really nice bling, they just tag me in it. But no, I have no no budget <laughs> to buy it all this stuff, so I have to quite often do it myself. The, oh, and I got some nice pictures as well, guys. Like uh, really uh, another nice idea for you. Okay, this one goes in. So another nice idea for you is like a really beautiful designer pictures, which you could do it yourself. And if you want it again, I can show you um, how to kind of do those kind of decorations and how to do. Even the flowers placement, like I never buy the flowers and I never just like stick them into the vase. They have to go in a certain way uh, so they last a really long time and they look pretty as well. But okay, that's my crystals all tied it up. And if you a person which is not as much new related, you can just uh, check in the description of this video where to get that, where to get this magic base gel which keeps the crystals well so that's my glass cooked and I'm going to remove the logo so just squeeze in your oh, fingers in there <laughs> and then the glass breaks eh? <laughs> no no it doesn't so obviously I will have to wash it so it's nice and clean and I've got two I, and I could use this piece of paper but I've got two beautiful designer glasses and now I can uh, once uh, have an and oh and now I can enjoy the glass of wine with the cameraman uh, as well so yeah guys I hope you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial on designer glasses glittery hacks and bye for now mm -hmm.